We're at Sebring. I'm Dan Johnson. I'm talking with Chris Hatton, who is associated with the Quicksilver Company, but also associated with HKS Engines. Now, HKS Engines was sort of a major player. They won ASTM approval for their engine, and then nowhere. What happened, and what's going on now, Chris? Well, uh, since we've taken over the distributorship, myself and Green Sky Adventures, um, we've worked hard on promoting them. HKS is uh, taken a stance that they want to sell engines. They want to get they back, want to be back in the market. Okay. They want to be here. They restructured their people over in Japan for us. Um, their parts delivery has been restructured. Um, all for the better. Uh, and uh, we think that we'll be doing very well with them and just get the news out that HKS is here to stay. Cool. Well, you know, I've, I've got some time on, actually, a few different engines on the 700E, which is the 60 horsepower, I believe. Correct. And, and by the way, if you if you don't know HKS, it's a Japanese engine. It's a four-stroke engine, two cylinders opposed, and it makes its own unique little sound. It it's does. A, and I say little because it's not real loud. It's not tiny, but it's a, well, it's a fairly small engine. But right. give me some of the, without going into stroke and things like that, Give me some specs about the engine and what, what it's all about. Well, it's a 680cc engine, 60 horsepower, obviously. Uh, the big thing is it's four-stroke, and it's very efficient. Um, at cruise, RPM 4740, 4750, we're getting uh, two and a half gallon uh, fuel burns, which in this day and age, with av fuel being five, six dollars a gallon, well, it's gotten a little it's lower right now. Yeah, yeah, it didn't right stay there. Yeah, it is going to stay. In any event, two and a half gallons an hour right. from a four-stroke, 60-horsepower engine that will power. Now, you're also associated with Quicksilver, so you're going to put it on a Quicksilver? Yeah, we have installed several on Quicksilver. Okay, you have already. Yep. Uh, it's not a common engine for that company. They mostly have stuck pretty true and blue to the Rotax brand, yep. which for obvious reasons, Rotax is a great brand of engine. Right. But uh, but they, their four-stroke gets into a 912, and that's like seriously more engine than this product needs. Absolutely. Okay. Right right now our, our flying platforms for the HKS engine and the Quicksilver line are the GT400, the single seat, okay. which is nearly a perfect combination. A sweet little airplane. Yeah, a beautiful, so beautiful flying place. aircraft and with this engine it just performs perfectly. Uh, the Sprint 2 and the MXL Sport um, are also perfect platforms. Now those are wire braced aircraft, so they're correct. About as light as you can make a three axis. Very, very light aircraft, okay. and this engine is no heavier than a 582 installed. Huh? Okay. So uh, now that's a bit more horsepower. 65 horsepower versus 60. But correct. I'm guessing this one has more torque, does it? Torque at, at equivalent RPMs, yes. Okay. Um, on climb out, it's not a 582. In cruise, it performs as well or better. Um, okay. Than a 582. So maybe you're going to lose a little bit of climb speed compared to the 582. Correct. But at cruise, you're equal or better, and your fuel burn is significant much, much less. Significantly less. Halved. Half. Half. Okay. Yeah, so, so that's pretty significant. Yeah. Plus that four-stroke reliability that I, I have to admit, I've had a lot of success myself with two-stroke. I don't have any problem with two-stroke, but four-stroke just kind of feels better, and it's easier on my body and my ear. <laughs> and a uh, thousand-hour TBO also. A thousand-hour TBO. Okay. So compared to two hundred fifty. Okay. So you're doing it. Now, 1,000 hours isn't 2,000 hours, but the cost probably isn't as high either, right? It's uh, $1,800 for an overhaul. That's it? That's it. And then, okay, with labor and everything, what's it going to cost me? I bring you an HKS 700E, needs overhaul, needs the works. What's it going to cost me total done, not including shipping? Uh, $3,000. Wow. Less than $3,000. Well, I mean, that's that's a relative bargain that, compared to, have, to, let's to, say, a 912. To have a zero-timed engine that's going to go another 1,000 hours, absolutely. And at 1,000 hours, we've torn them down at 1,000 hours. There's no appreciable signs of wear at 1,000 hours. Is that hours. right? So, so uh, it's almost a precautionary. It's a recommended. I, th I think the day has come where we need to increase the time and service is showing that these engines will surpass their 1,000-hour TBO. But still, at 1,000 hours, first of all, 1,000 hours, of your typical pilot, if he's flying quite a bit, is flying 100 hours a year. That's so right. So that's 10 years of flying. That, absolutely. Five-year number, which is unlikely for most people, that's only 600 bucks a year. That's right. I mean, that's relatively nothing. Yeah, the, 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 the costs extended are, are nothing. And uh, so they ship, they take it off, ship it to you? Is that how that would work? Uh, we, we, will, we will, yeah. yeah. We pick them up, we can ship them. Whatever works for the customer. Okay, cool. What kind of money does it take to put a HKS on some airplane? Not necessarily the Quicksilver, but realistically, the engine itself is ninety-three seventy-one okay. U.S. dollars. Um, Eleven thousand dollars to install one. Okay, this that's with all the bits and pieces. Yeah, you have it. your hoses, you have your fittings, you have your oil cooler, you have your oil tank. Okay. 
well, that's about half the price of a 912, which is more power, more engine, that's right. all the rest of that. So that's it's right. not really apples and apples, but it puts it in perspective that the 912 is probably double that price. Correct. So on my home belt, I say, you know, that would work perfectly for me, Chris. Um, how long do I have to wait to get an engine from? Uh, usually within two weeks, we'll, we'll get an engine. Delivered. Two weeks? About a week, a week to 10 days to get here, and then you know, three days for delivery once they hit the U.S. shores and clear customs. Wow. Okay, so that's pretty quick. Now, NHKS, this is not just a little dinky company over there in Japan. No, they're H a speed products company. They're is that a correct? performance auto parts company that's very, very large. Okay. Um, so they have the financial backing to stay solvent for a long time. Okay. So you're not buying one of these things going to get orphaned in a couple of years. Or no, something. absolutely not. The, the company president, this is his baby, and he intends on keeping it going for a long time. Cool. Uh, how about parts? How about availability of those parts and what do you have on hand if I need the stuff? Uh, everything but the engines are here in the U.S. Okay. We have parts available to supply any warranty issues, any customer support. Um, it's all here. And you've got that here now. Even though it's quick from Japan, it's already in the United States for those folks that need stuff. We have parts here for, for service to keep engines from going down for any any period of and time. And you're in the northeast of the U.S. Where is Jerry Oldnick located? Jerry's in Central Florida. Okay. Or Central Florida. So you get the East Coast covered pretty well and the West Coast is even closer to Japan so yeah I suppose they get stuff even faster and there. we we still have dealers and OEMs out in the West Coast that that'll support the engine okay great all right well how do we find even more stuff about HKS and about your Quicksilver business Chris on the World Wide Web you can find us at hksengines.com and uh, my Quicksilver business is Quicksilver NE for QuicksilverNortheast.com okay very good lots more about affordable aviation on bydanjohnson.com thanks for joining Chris Hatton and I here at Seabrook